Hello people, and welcome back to part 8 of Novaria, our city's skyline snow build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all the kind comments, suggestions, and support on the last episode. You guys really enjoyed our little public transport university here. And I think it was a nice start to it. I did have a really helpful comment of um, actually including the bypass station on the national line itself, which would have made total sense. Um, <laughs> we might move that. Because that's literally the point of the bypass lines, right? But uh, but either way, we can always amend it further down the line, right? Uh, but it's working for right now. And uh, what we're going to work on today, actually, is the kind of the extension or a little kind of build within the campus itself. And this is going to be uh, the start of the various canal network. Uh, we're going to work on the um, the Green Cities residential canal build, which is a, a staple in most of my cities, I think, now. So uh, let's have a little discussion about how this is going to work, shall we? So the nearest waterway to bring it in, um, we could bring it in from down here, but there's a lot of infrastructure in the way and I've got plans for builds on this side. I don't really want the canal coming through this way. So I think we're going to run it through here. So let's start having a little discussion about how this is going to work exactly. So we're going to use our shallow canals. I think I'm going to pin it onto this road guideline right here. And I want it to remain parallel with this arterial that's coming down. All right. Break this section here too, and then bring this out into the water. Very nice. And of course, we'll need to break our national train lines here, and we will kind of terraform these to get them to fit in a little easier. But we'll worry about that a little later down the line. So I want to factor in the various canal network fairly early, so it can run into the downtown as well, because I really want these to be used as decoration amongst that skyline. Kind of the idea that I have in mind, but we'll see, right? Now we can see that the angle is shifting here. I want it to be parallel with the university road layout. So I'm going to grab a little canal here and then feed that straight up and then stick parallel with these road guidelines right here. All right, so there'll be a nice little shifting angle here as well. Let's also come down and grab that arterial road again. And I think we'll stick with the regular one for right now and again i want to make, want to make sure that i'm parallel with the canals at this point so let's bring the arterial up and then we'll go for distance here and we can start to bring these together now let's go on to our freeform tool there we go nice smooth curve and we can bring that in so i also want to factor a train station into today's build as well which we'll we'll factor in a second but now I want to start coming out by distances of uh, 50 tiles. And then over by 10. And then back down into the arterial. And then keep repeating this pattern. Because this is going to accommodate our canals perfectly as they come between the suburbs. It looks like we might not have just enough room to do this here. Yeah, we're a little bit short. That's fine though. We do have a little bit of room to knock the canal over. So that's what we'll do. So also we'll have enough room, however, we are going to need to terraform, so we're going to take away a few of these buildings within the campus area. It's only an outdoor study area in a park, we're not losing anything serious. And then we'll just do some terraforming and cut this away. We'll also include a stadium in this build today as well and integrate that as part of the campus. Cut this part too. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So let's have a look at those roads now. Okay, so we now have the base road structure in over our canal. And I now want to continue to expand those canals to accommodate our stadium. Because so of course that's going to remain a really important feature of our build today. So go ahead and grab a regular road. And uh, we'll just draw in the, the normal one right now and then we'll see what we can place in. So let's go for basketball arena perhaps as well. Let's also bring our campus area out of touch. Just so it's going to be included. So it will become the varsity sport for the campus area. If we place this here, how are we feeling? Of course, with an asset this large, yeah, the orientation is very important. How we're looking for the metro station as well. Okay, I think Sidon is going to be our best friend here, right? I think having it run with this side on this axis. So let's try that instead. 
Uh, let's go into this road guideline and take this one away now as well. Let's see how we feel about this one instead. Yeah, okay. We can even afford to bring this back. Uh, three tiles too, so let's replace the road. And then we'll spin this around. Well, let's just take away this road as well. There we go. Give it a little bit of breathing room as well from that indentation. Allow us to bring some elevated pathways down to it too. I think even emerging from the metro station now as well. Nice important view into the stadium. Okay. Cool. Let's go about waterways again. Again, I'm leaving my road guideline on so we can see those blue circles which are giving us that indication of 10. Let's see what we can do to bring this in in a fashion that we like. Okay, we can create a little canal box here. Maybe get some services on this island if you like. And then we can maybe bring a road down here as well. Let's snap onto the road guideline of the canal initially. Let's go for there. That'll be alright. Maybe start introducing some preform action too. Let's bring this out a touch more. There we go. Nice. Okay, and possibly come into our terraforming tools as well and grab a little bit of softening. Take some of the harshness out of that cutting away that we did. And then get a connection down into the stadium here as well. Maybe a fancy road around the stadium. Something with trees, perhaps. Okay. Not bad. Um, so I definitely want to factor in this particular train station into the Green Cities build today, which is going to be the Ground Island Platform train station. And um, this really just kind of screams Green Cities. Very kind of sharp edges, modern, very green. Well, it would be green if we weren't in a snow map. But either way, really nice asset, and I definitely want this included in the build. So, let's have a little discussion about how this is going to happen, shall we? Um, let's come ahead and grab a regular road. So we do have the train line here, of course, ready to be expanded. So we'll bring this into the suburb somehow. And I think if we try and orientate here, let's see what we're like for size. It's still a little too shallow. Let's come down by maybe another two tiles instead. Yeah, okay, so we can clear the arterial there. That's going to be fine. And we'll also take away these two as well. Cool. Nice. So we will bring the canals into these sections as well. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab those train lines. And uh, get everyone hooked in. So I'm just going to create street crossings here. I'm not overly bothered about kind of having bridges. They won't be that busy anyway, so it should be okay. Let's get our freeform tool going as well. Nice smooth connection in there. All right, we might introduce uh, trolley buses into this suburb too because we did have a little feedback last episode about maybe having a little uh, trolley bus network factors into the campus area, which I'm definitely a fan of doing. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay, let's bring this up. So let's now kind of work on getting these um, canals kind of factored into the area. Uh, we'll also break this section here too. And then come up by another 10. Okay, so I think I'm going to want the canals to flow within these spaces here, and then every other one after that. So what we'll do now is we'll break this road connection, and then we'll grab our canals again. And then because we've stuck to measurements of 10, we can now snap perfectly into the middle of these roads. And that's going to give us plenty of opportunities again to come back across the bridges. So units of 10 with like very heavy canal builds are always helpful uh, for that particular reason. Again, we can do the same here. Let's bring this up. And then we'll do some kind of fancy designs out here. Next to the, um, outside the train station rather. Get some, maybe some commercial 
some trolley bus interchanges here too. All right. Uh, and then same here again as well. We want to be snapping to that middle node, bringing it up, and then just keep rinsing and repeating this idea. We'll stick to the same road guideline as the canal anyway. Very nice. Same here too. Let's keep bringing everyone up. And then you can now just see how this pattern will begin to uh, repeat itself. And we can possibly do the same here as well, because we've gone into a slightly different shape here. The angle will be thrown, but that's fine. We can just delete this and then bring it up in this fashion instead. And then the same with this one too. Okay. So that's going to form a base structure. And if we want to continue to expand this idea as well, we do have the option uh, with expanding the canal. But we want to go ahead and paint up um, a whole district because this wants to be all green cities. Um, it doesn't have to be green cities to get this to work right. It just it helps because green cities works really nicely with the water. And there's a couple of really nice repeated patterns we can get involved with uh, with green cities, high density res today as well. Let's go for organic and local produce and um, self-sufficient housing as well. Okay, there's one more here I haven't done, isn't there? Get that in as well. And what happens if we come into the terraforming here? This definitely needs some fence detailing, but I think we can make it work. Okay, so let's allow the game to play, and uh, we'll see how our water comes in. Oh yeah, I need to do this as well, don't I? Otherwise we'll get no national trains. That's fine. So of course, because we're working with water in city skylines, we are going to have near biblical floods, which is expected. So let's have a possible mooch at the idea of trolley buses in the area. So if we have a look at the trolley bus depot, Maybe we can squeeze it on this island here if we adjusted the road network. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, let's take these away. And bring in Trolley Bus Depot here. Let's connect these canals back up as well. Um, at an angle that is symmetrical though. And then we can now upgrade some of these into Trolley Bus Road with wires. So we'll take it Cross here as well. Just upgrade these and then how do you want to do this? Probably come up and down on this side, right? Okay, and then we'll save ourselves four tiles between the station. We'll also just have these as regular roads. And then let's bring the trolley buses back down this side. And with, with all the paths we'll have around here, this is going to be plenty of walking distance for them. Okay, let's bring it back up through here. And then again, if we want to take it up and through the campus, we can do too. So let's bring it behind the police academy. So many people walking around here as well. Very nice to see. And then out in front of the stadium, that's going to be great uh, public transport convergence. And then back into there as well. Let's have a look at mapping out some trolleybus lines, shall we? So trolleybuses, I think they get a bad rep. And I was absolutely a fan of that bad rep as well. <laughs> I did not like trolleybuses when they came out. But a good way to use them is like smaller localised public transport loops. Um... They tend to perform really well uh, in that regard. So I guess we'll just start outside the station. We could go for stop symmetry outside the station, which is always nice, but I think we'll leave it. Maybe have it on the opposite one. Okay, so we'll stop uh, down here. We'll then stop in the campus area. Uh, again, outside the stadium. And then once more in the suburb, and then complete the line. And then again, we'll pop it here, and then we'll have an alternate line running the opposite way. 
Okay. And then we can bring that there as well. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead, get some water hooked into these guys, and then we'll wait for the water to fill up in the canals. And then we'll kind of see how we're looking like for ready for some zoning. Okay, so this is kind of how our snowy, watery infrastructure is now beginning to look, which I think I'm fairly happy with. Also change the colour of the trolley buses to blue and green. Which I think they're quite cute themselves. They're actually getting a bit of use already. Um, on outside the stadium here is picking up a few people. Which is nice to see. Also brought a bridge over the metro line as well. Uh, from the metro station, because I realise like, these guys don't have a way back and forth. So that bridge will help people move around now too. Okay, so let's start discussing um, some residential patterns for the area. So let's have a look at the noise first of all. Stadium's pretty loud, so we'll save this tile for something else. Uh, but let's discuss uh, some, some, some patterns. So of course we can specifically zone, which is always appreciated, um, and we can do it organically. We can just allow the assets to come in and level up infinitely, which for green cities, residential, isn't the worst thing in the world. It's all right. So we'll go for a checkerboard pattern here. It will also come onto road guideline and grab ourselves a little road to snap onto the rail line. Okay. And then we'll bring this down. Probably up until there. That's a little weird. <laughs> Why is the road doing that? Not entirely sure. Let's try that again. Bring it out from this one first, actually. There we go. That's a little easier. So there's a really nice asset that comes in with Green City's Residential. And you want to run it in one by two patterns like this. Okay. Maybe do one here too. And then break that pattern with maybe just a regular path or something. Just come off the road guideline. Why there's so many around here. Okay, and then repeat that pattern again. So there's some really kind of cute small flats that work uh, really nicely in this design. And um, we'll see what they look like up against the rail here as well. So again, just keep that zoning going. All right, so how are we looking here? Again, I don't mind a lot of the lower level high density res apartments with green cities. These guys are going to need power though. We've got some train folks coming through here now as well. I have hooked up the line uh, from the university station. Okay, so these are them. There's a couple of different ones, but it's these kind of two deep ones that you want. I think if we have these, it's almost like a little introductory layer of height as we arrive into this suburb from this angle. There's also these little one deep ones as well, which aren't bad looking. But look a little weird on the road, and you have to kind of repeat their pattern, I think. We get some nice parkland here as well. Okay. So this is this is the premise, this is the idea, right? This is what we're thinking of. Yeah, so with that in mind, let's give them some water and power, refine this pattern, and then see what we, we think of it once it's all grown up. Okay, so here we go. Got this little one by two zonings in and repeated patterns. We'll yield something like this, of course, as they move through their respective levels, they will change in height, but with those one by two patterns, there's not that many assets within the pool. So if you're without plot the growables, it's not that hard to replicate. Okay, and again, lots of complementary green belt in these spaces, maybe some commercial as well. And some nice fence detail in between the rail. I think those will look all right. So when we compare this to organically zoned um, green cities, it's not bad looking. It certainly has an interest and appeal to it. But um, you can definitely tell that these assets, they just kind of scream out for repeated patterns, especially with these oval ones as well. And you can kind of see how like if this one had just generated on the other side and we would have had like a perfect little oval uh, from the bird's eye view. Even from down the street level as well, you know, they, they kind of complement each other really nicely. So I guess we'll play with a few Green Cities designs today, uh, see what we think of them, and then kind of make our decision uh, based on that as to what we want to run with. Okay. Not bad. 
Um, let's discuss this little central plaza here. Um, so I definitely want some green cities commercial um, to sit out front of this, but we need to kind of reconfigure uh, the road network, I think, a little bit um, to get it to kind of sit how I want it to look. So I think we'll bring in some road against road action. Leaving a distance of two tiles all the way around. Okay. And how about we focus some kind of park or design out the front here. How about a skating rink? Yeah, that's going to sit really cutely in front of the train station. We can't really deny that opportunity. Uh, and let's go for some zonings up here. Okay, and then we'll bring in different size ones as we come down. Which again is going to give us plenty of opportunity to maybe come through with a little bit of nature reserve pathway off the road length, of course. And then bring this down into here as well. And we'll come into the grid for this section and draw it back up just so we get the lights aligning on the right hand side of the path. It's going to remain symmetrical that way. Uh, and then definitely we want these uh, pathways to continue. We should be alright for part paths here, actually, right, I think. Yeah, we're, we're okay. And that's going to take everyone through into the trains, of course, and then um, the trolley buses too. So also come ahead and throw in um, some very brief plaza spice in front of the train station, just so we're going to sink that power through. Which is not sinking through. No, it's not. Do we have an earthquake sensor yet? So lots of repeated fence and tree designs here to help ourselves out. Let's have a little look as to how this might continue to grow. Um, it's coming this way, and I think probably nature reserve fence is always a firm favourite with green cities. Farm fence works nicely too. Possibly another park asset here. Maybe let's go for the restroom. Out in this space and then continuing that nature as a fence snapped into the grid okay all down and then possible smaller conifer patterns too so that increase our distance here a little bit so we're just going to run with four of them either side okay starting the corners so let's continue to discuss some further green cities pattern zoning. Um, we're going to have a look at these guys right here, the little oval numbers, um, which do come in at level 1, which makes them a lot easier to get in um, if you're without public robots or on the consoles. So let's have a little discussion, shall we? So I want to be saving um, perfect squares here. So if you're measuring them with uh, your regular two-lane road, it's just a 400 by 400, which is a... A box of 10 with your road length on. Let's redraw that in so it's actually 400. There we go. So that's the shape you want, right? Just simple, very easy box. And then you want to come in with those 4x4s. Four and again, you want to pattern the zone in. Okay. Uh, repeat it again this side. Again, with your road guideline on, you can save those perfect squares. So we'll discuss a few little green city zoning techniques today that you can use to help break away from that endless mass zone in a residential and you want to wait for them to come in and then you're saving for this asset right you want to have this oval um perfectly formed <laughs> which is a little bit unfortunate this one hasn't done it but um you know we just have to wait wait for it to come in and then we'll uh, we'll see what we think about maybe a couple of repeated oval patterns um down this side of the park Okay, so I've just been playing about off camera here, and um, there's a really nice selection of 3x4s that you could almost form in a really cute kind of shattered oval pattern. I don't know what you would call this. It sounds like there's three things that are guaranteed in life, right? There's death, taxes, and always a new green cities pattern that you've never seen before. I think it's kind of nice, but like whichever way you look at it, it's always got that kind of peek through and then it, it cuts itself off. 
I don't know what you would call that. There's probably an architectural term behind it, but it's escaping me. But I think we'll run with that. So this is four by three zonings. Okay, and you'll have a chance to generate this asset. It is level one. You, of course, want to make them historical as well so they don't level up. But okay, I think I'm going to go with this design then. Let's, um, let's repeat these. Okay, so I think for a couple of these little segments, I want to switch up the road network a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself just a regular road. And we're going to bring this straight down the middle. All right. Then we're going to come into low density residential. And then we're going to start zoning up in different size zonings here and uh, shatter the symmetry as well. Okay, so just general different sizes. Just keep it going. Nothing overly symmetrical. There is a thing that's too much repeated spice, so I think running with um, a shattered design here should help us out a little bit. Um, Tiny little earthquake center again. We will find a way to sink these guys through eventually, but that's why we're loading up. Okay, and then I think I want to run... I think probably Forestry Fence is going to be my friend here. Let's take off Road Guideline. And then just box them in against the canal, maybe. We can also use trees to do this as well if we want. Maybe come through with bushes. Let's bring the sizings down just a little bit. But bushes look a little bit tragic in the snow, but you can you can get on board with the premise, right? But I think the the forestry fence it works quite nicely in this design, I think. Okay, so we're just bringing the road here so the houses are facing into the road rather than out to the canals. Um, and you, because you can do it either way, it doesn't have to be like this, but it's another way of using green city zone in a little more interestingly. Okay. Let's have a little, little scan around as to how we're doing. Yeah, I think I'm enjoying it. It's not looking too bad. Let's have a look at the trolley bus lines too. Let's have a little evaluation of these guys. Yeah, okay, it's a decent use. How about you? Yeah, this uh, this blue line is certainly busier. But with people using it, you can't really complain, right? Some more blue density residential within these spaces as well. And maybe some final high density res patterns here. So there's like a, a really nice apartment looking building that spawns and um, within a 4x3 pool within the green city stuff. I think 3x3 three three as well. Um, we'll just zone out a couple and allow them to grow organically and see if we can spot the asset that we're after. Yeah, and then let's see how we're feeling about this one. I'm thinking we're looking down into the, I guess, what is the town centre here for this build. So let's go for... Low density res. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't know what I want here. Um, do some office zoning as well. Maybe. We do have a little bit of industrial demand. Let's play about with some potential office shapes within a green city's build as a little experiment. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for fairly heavily repeated. 4x3 low density green cities here. And then we can get some pathways and stuff through the middle here as well. Lots of trees and fences. Everything that makes green cities come to life, right? Now we're heading up the hill here, so we don't want any zone in there. We're going to start to get some terraforming junk if we do that. Okay, and then possibly bend the road network around here to accommodate that zone in a little better as well. And then we'll continue to get that in. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, it's these ones. These are the ones that we like. Um, so what was that? It was a 4 by 3 by 3 it was. Yeah. So again, these assets work really nicely as repeated patterns. 
Um, especially up against the water too. Um, as did these ones as well. I really like these ones. We'll definitely get some of these in maybe. Um, somewhere. Maybe here. Okay. So yeah, I definitely want some of these 3x3 three three numbers in. Let's uh, accommodate those. So we go for, how's the pattern going to look if we come in from this side? I don't think it'll be too bad. Let's also have a look what office zoning is developing. Mm, no, <laughs> not those. Not those. Let's have a look. Mm, no. This is why we specifically zone, right? So we force the patterns in that we want. Get rid of that as well. Okay, we'll wait and see what comes in with the office zone and see if we like it. Might let them level up a little bit as well. And um, these guys are, of course, going to need schools and whatnot. So let's address that while we're here. Of course, whilst it's green cities, we have to stick with um, the green cities assets. And oh, they fit perfectly. <laughs> Can you deny that? But they kind of actually a little bit low on elementary school availability. We could possibly do with a couple of these in. Something's abandoned here as well. One of the uh, university assets. Let that regrow. Yeah, we can maybe do with another school here. Um, okay. It's a I understand it's a little bit dangerous just backing onto the canal like that. But it's not real life, okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, how about high school? High school's okay. We just need an elementary. Um, repeated elementary spice? I'm not sure about that. It does satisfy the demand because they're, they're all over here. There's a little pocket over there as well. I'm unsure on that. Okay, yeah, so this is an asset I think works nice with green cities. This office one. This one's leveling up into that asset as well. Wonderful. Okay. I think we'll go for those, but I want this on this corner, so we'll unzone that, and then that one too, and then we'll bring this office into the corner, and that should create us a nice little repeatable pattern there too. These guys are getting garbage piled up as well. Uh, okay, so I am going to, oh this is low density res, cool, get rid, there we go, high density. I'm going to carry on bringing my little fence patterns around here um, and waiting for my office building to come in. I'll bring some pathways through here and then we'll have a look at something of a detailing time lapse once I have my chosen assets in. So I'll speak to you in a second. Okay, so I now have all my patterns in. These are what the 3x3s three look like once they're in their repeated pattern. Which again, a nice little kind of waterside apartment vibe. Um, we did something very similar in Bagusia for maybe long time followers of the channel. Over by kind of the second downtown's beach area. Um, they work really nicely with water, I think. And it load into residential. It's all in now as well. So we'll have a nice little kind of crawling height as we head towards the town centre. But this does feel like a good place for a detailing time lapse. Uh, we have lots of green belt to bring in around here. Also develop some designs around the little trolleybus island as well. I bring in lots and lots of pathways uh, to help border up against the roads. Uh, probably some rock gardens in here as well. I get people moving back and to uh, between these. And of course trees and fences and rocks and everything we love. Uh, bring some pathways, probably some elevated ones. Down to the stadium as well, which is super busy now. So uh, nice to see that. Get in a little bit of love. Uh, but otherwise, let's detail up. And I'll speak to you all in a minute.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated. Thank you so much if you haven't enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a dislike as well. I hope that today's episode has shown off the power of specific zoning and running with repeated patterns. We've got several blocks here of those repeated patterns, some organic zoning, and then playing with some new shapes and ideas as well. And of course, some classic green cities market spice to kind of focus all of this high density residential around. And it's all contributing to our grander crawling height as we head further and further towards Novaria's eventual downtown skyline. Do hang around for the rest of the outdoor Taj, uh, you guys wouldn't have seen all the detailing. And the end of Palavan has uh, been announced this week. I have finished the city of Palavan now and we will have a final farewell cinematic tour which will premiere on the channel at some point this week, probably Friday, but I will let you guys know on the Discord and via the community tab. Otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.